When I was born in the summer of 86, my dad wrote me these words. The important places. Child of mine, come as you grow. In youth you will learn the secret places. The cave behind the waterfall. The arms of the oak that hold you high. The stars so near on a desert ledge. The important places. And as with age you choose your own way, among the many faces of a busy world, may you always remember the path that leads back. Back to the important places. Dad for Forest, 1986. Before we could walk, we learned to swim in the pond below the house. Pushed back and forth between caring hands, water was a constant. I heard that poem as a baby, even lived parts of it as a kid, and then forgot it completely as I moved away from the mountains to find my own path in a city, far from those places Dad called important. Then, the year Dad turned 70, I felt he stopped thinking about living. He was slowing, visibly, and that scared the shit out of me. So I ignored it. I pick up a broken comb Run it through my thin gray hair I read that old man will see visions And young man will follow dreams And I believed it when I read it I see your face in everything That same winter, I unearthed a box of old family books and found the poem again, The Important Places. Flipping through Dad's old slides, it occurred to me that maybe, just maybe, if I can bring back together these two things that were young once, my father and the Colorado River, I can somehow travel back in time to learn something of who my father was 